Hello, Richie V here, and I'm back with another nostalgia review. And a nostalgia review is when I look back at something with rose-tinted glasses and see if it still holds up today. Now today, I'm going to be doing Judas Priest. Now, because I was in high school in the 80s, I actually don't know, really remember the first time I heard Judas Priest because it was just all around. Judas Priest, ACDC, Van Halen, these are songs you're just walking down the street and they're blasting from a car, you know. And so to to know the first time, but there was uh, this album that you'd hear a lot, a live album called Unleashed in the East, as well as some of their more um, uh, non-live albums were like British Steel, uh, you know, with uh, like Living After Midnight, of course, you hear that a lot. And as they went on heading out to the highway and things like that. So I am doing... Uh, Diamonds and Rust, which was on, uh, which was on that album Unleashed in the East, and it, it is the classic version. But in this one, I'm going to be watching a version where they're doing this song acoustically, which is uh, ironic because if I remember right, and I could have this wrong, I believe this this was originally a Joan Baez song. I could be wrong about there being Joan Baez, but I think it was Joan Baez who was an acoustic guitar player. Then they took it in the 70s, did their own version of it, and it was like dun 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 ticka ticka dun dun dun, you know, and turned it into a metal song. Metal. metal. Because, you know, Jews, never mind. Anyway, so now Jews Priest has come full circle. And apparently they're they're doing the uh the the acoustic version of this, so we will see. Um, uh, let's see if this holds up. and Let's see if uh, it compares. So here we go. This is Judas Priest. It's Diamonds and Rust. And I'm really looking forward to this. use that as my first stopping point. Judas Priest was interesting in that, I don't know if they're the first ones to do this, but they, they just had two amazing guitar players, um, both with different styles. Uh, there's been bands with two guitar players. If I remember right, they're both lead. I mean, they could both play lead, uh, and that is a little more unusual. So um, the, the Judas Priest has some great guitaring in it. <laughs> This will be my second time, then I'm going to let it go to the end. And the other thing I like about this is um, Rob Halford, the lead singer, he doesn't, he's singing this in a mellow way, but he hasn't, he doesn't change his voice. He's still singing with controlled power. And I, I really like that about the way he's singing this. He, he's singing this uh, not as a ballad singer, but as a, but as a, a, a metal singer with controlled power. If that makes any sense. Thank you. 
somehow they, they ended it with some power there. And like I said, they did this acoustically. They did it, you know, and, and it was very beautiful. And again, I think like the, the on that, that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang uh, song, Hush by Mountain, uh, this was a very haunting version of it. Um, I might have to go back and listen to the Joan Baez version and to see what the original was like, to see if how, how much they changed it. But I really like this. This was this was like I said, they didn't change who they were, but they did. But they did pull back, and then at the end, that you know, I, I almost expected like fireworks to go off. Um, I can't sing this. I, I can't imitate a Rob Halford. It's not my he, he's not in my wheelhouse for singing. So <laughs> great version. If you liked it, hit like and subscribe. You know, yada yada yada. And until I see you next time, have a blessed day.